Thanks, ASF, and sure. welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I am your host, Scott Ramp, and that was America the Beautiful, played by ASF Adonai. <laughs> it's nice that I know it because then I can say it myself. Of course, we always ask you, what song was that, ASF? Well, you know this one, it's Independence Day, so it's a perfect song. <laughs> nice. All right, so uh, for, um, just so you guys know that um, Independence Day is today. Today is the 4th of July. We are live here from MCAT. Um, channel 189 and of course uh, for those of you who are we're looking forward to the Southgate Mall fireworks and show uh, they moved it oh, they, well, it didn't necessarily move it just like it's, it's not happening and apparently one of the only 4th of July kind of like celebrations that are really happening in Missoula is happening in Florence <laughs> Which I thought was pretty funny. So I'll talk to you, to you guys all about your uh, 4th of July, what kind of stuff are happening in events. Um, Noah will be back on Friday, so you'll be stuck with me for the next two shows. So let's talk about weather. It's going it to, basically, uh, the high has decreased about 15 degrees, so it's going to be a really nice, cool couple days. It's uh, currently 57 outside. Um, Independence Day, the high is going to be 72. Wow, 72. It's going to be a beautiful day today. It's going to be slightly breezy, so you want to be careful if you do shoot off any fireworks that um, the wind will definitely um, push it one way or the other for sure um, and of course uh, tonight uh, it's gonna be mostly clear with a low of 46 and then Tuesday your high is gonna be 72 and then Tuesday night it's gonna be uh, 46 and then uh, Wednesday you can expect uh, ch uh, chances of, of thunderstorms so yeah, um, that's basically uh, what's going on. Um, Wednesday you'll have thunderstorms, Thursday it'll be mostly sunny again. So um, just expect for that. Uh, today it's going to be a nice, beautiful day. Either you're coming back from uh, Fourth of July weekend or you're kind of waiting and taking Tuesday off and then coming back Tuesday. But of course, uh, let's do some uh, little MCAT things here and there. I just want to say that MCAT is, uh, our, all our summer camps are full. So. Um, we're doing all our summer camps starting next week, and we're basically going to be close to the public except for 5 to 8 from Tuesday through Thursday, and that's uh, for the next three weeks. But of course, um, if you want to know more information, you can log on to MCAT.org. You can also like us on Facebook, where we post all sorts of wonderful things, um, past shows, and more. But also, you can go to our uh, Twitter page, at MCAT TV Missoula. You can also... Follow Wake Up Missoula on Twitter at Wake Up Missoula. You can also like us on Facebook. Um, Wake Up Missoula. Uh, you can log on to our website, wakeupmissoula.works.com slash Wake Up Missoula. It's so nice for me to write it out twice. Um, let's see. We have some new programming on for the next couple days. I have this one uh, little bike pedestrian workshop. I'm going to show you a little tease of this. I'm not exactly sure when it's on MCAT or if it's on ch one channel 190 during the uh, bike ped advisory board this or that, but uh, here's a little taste of what you guys can see um, with uh, a nice bike pedestrian workshop. And we work with communities around the state. We work with state agencies, with federal highways, and with working on passing laws, with working on doing more education throughout the state that's to individuals who walk and bike, to communities, to drivers, so really working on educating more people about the needs and the safety of people who walk and bike. All right, so, uh, oh, wrong button. So, yeah, that's uh, what you guys uh, can expect on MCAT. I believe that is either going to be on channel 189 or 190. So, of course, we do have other programming I'm going to show you guys as well later in the show, but that's for your Tuesday. Let's talk a little bit more about your 4th of July. Um, I have, I'm going to go to the web, uh, the city council website, and they usually, uh, un uh, not city council website, it's the city of Missoula's website, and I'm going to check out the roads report. So the roads report, if you go log on to... Uh, ci.missoula.mt.us it brings you to this nice little page about everything that's happening in Missoula government and events wise uh, put in even put on by the Parks and Recreation Board as well you can go to the roads report it's uh, this area right here of all the stuff you need to know uh, you can click on it and it brings you to this page so I'm just gonna quickly uh, read this over so uh, Arthur Beckwith to 6th Street uh, to Higgins they'll be close to any for a chip and seals and then you can expect this um, for a day or two, so that's 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 a new street. So if you're going down Arthur, just be aware between Beckwith and Sixth Street, there's going to be some um, closures. 
um, and rerouting. And of course, 39th Street, um, reserved to wrestle. And starting July 11th and continuing through July 15th, uh, the westbound lane will be closed between 7 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. for utility work in preparation of a chip and steel project. Of course, Mullen Road, um, Flynn Lane to Frey Lane, so if you live up on um, Mullen Road, um, they're going to do a nighttime chip and seal project will be taking place. The work will start Tuesday, tomorrow, July 5th, and will run from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. So any um, late nights you guys are planning on doing this week, just be aware that they'll be doing this kind of work, and it will be scheduled to complete this Friday. Um, Hillview Way, they're continuing some construction on that. They're going to improve the road. Uh, Linda Vista Boulevard, Lower Miller Creek to Jack uh, Drive. And they'll be closed for installation of a sewer main. Um, bu -bu -bu. And there's a couple other things here and there. Old Highway 93, there are going to be some post siding road to McDonald Street. And this is construction is continuing on the South Reserve Street for the pedestrian bridge at the building. But that concludes your road support. Um, up next, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about events. So today is the 4th of July, and uh, the Fort Missoula is kicking off their 4th of July breakfast, and it's happening right now. So at 8 a.m. this morning, starting right now, uh, the Church of the Latter-day Saints will be providing a pan pancake breakfast at the Fort Missoula, and it is for $5 for singles, $3 for seniors, and families for $15. And so, yeah. It, and of course, if you want to celebrate Independence Day in St. Regis, they're starting their celebrations at 8 a.m. and all the way until midnight. They're doing breakfast at the school, a uh, big parade in town at 11, uh, 12 to 4. It's game, food, fun, cotton candy, snow cones, and more, and after desks. Uh, big firework to display. Um, everyone's welcome. And if you want more information, you can call them 649 um, 2692. And then, of course, ex exhibit grand opening to and from Missoula. Mm, cool. Um, oh, wait. Sorry. This is uh, art installation. Sorry. At the Historic Museum at Fort Missoula, they're doing in, um, an exhibit. It's all about postcards. It's uh, to and from Missoula. So, to highlight the 4th of July celebration, the Historical Museum at Fort Missoula will open their postcard exhibit called To and From Missoula. The exhibit illustrates how we communicate over time through hundreds of unique postcards from our collection. Um, of course, Moscow Monday is happening at Montgomery Distillery. Come, come enjoy um, a dollar for each co cocktail sold goes to a nonprofit. Bridge Group is happening at the Senior Center at 1 p.m. this afternoon. Um, duplicate uh, Bridge Group is happening around the same time as well. And of course, uh, there's uh, Raising the Dead, live recorded shows of the Grateful Dead at 5 p.m. at the Top Hat. And of course, every Monday, that happens every Monday from 5 to 7 at the Top Hat. Um, so you get a free punch to, uh, if you get enough punches, you get a free ticket to one of the uh, Top Hat shows. Um, there's a 4th of July picnic and fireworks show at the Florence. So this is the, uh, this is kind of like the replacement event for what's happening with, uh, uh, the the event that was happening at the Southgate Mall. That's what I've that's what I've seen, and uh, Florence is not too far. Uh, the Florence Fire uh, Department sponsors uh, a free Fourth of July dinner picnic and free aerial fireworks show at the Florence Community Park in Florence at 5 p.m. Hot dogs and hamburgers will be served along with side dishes, desserts, and uh, from the community. Uh, music, games, a raffle over the activities will be available during the evening at 10:15 p.m. A free aerial fireworks show begins. So 10 o'clock. Be there for the thing, uh, and of course, service industry night at 6 p.m. At, at Plonk is service industry night, and of course, the, that is some of your basic events. You can always look up more events at MissoulaEvents.net. Um, there's a couple. Of, there's not really much else going on here, and of course, don't be uh, uh, swayed by the fact that on MissoulaEvents.net they said there's a city council meeting tonight. There is no city council meeting tonight because they don't put on city council meetings on holidays on federal holidays and the fifth Monday of the month. So just be aware of that. Uh, it's Blues Monday at the Badlander, Open Mic Night at Imagination Brewing Company, and of course, uh, Service Industry Night at 6 p.m. where you get specials if you work in the service industry. And uh, with that, I'm gonna we're gonna switch gears and we're gonna go over to ASAP for musical notes. Celebrating freedom, God, country, it's Independence Day. So I wanted to start this off, Scott, by wishing you and Noelle, even though she's not here, and of course your TV audience, a happy 4th of July. And we're thankful for our country that we live in, the freedoms we have for friends, freedom of religion to worship God, and just thankful for peace, family, neighbors, and friends. So again, happy Independence Day to Thank everyone. Thank you, Seth. 
That being said, when I was a boy, I had a collie, and my dog looked just like our guest. Our guest on today's musical notes is a dog named Pal, spelled P-A-L, but known to the world as Lassie. And there she is. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> let's start off with that clip there. And you can see Lassie is being called home, Lassie! And she leaps over the fence. Wow. There's our sweetie mom, June Lockhart. And um, there's the father in the series. There's a little boy, Timmy, and of course his lovable dog, Lassie. That's what it was like for me when I was growing up. I had a dog just like that. <laughs> and of course, I used to watch this show when I was a kid growing up. Anyway, Lassie is a fictional female collie character created by Eric Knight in a short story that was later expanded to a full-length novel called Lassie Come Home and it was published in 1940 before it became filmed by MGM in 1943 by the same title Lassie Come Home and of course as I stated Powell was the actor or actress doggy actress that was Lassie's real name Powell and he called her Lassie in the series. Now, and here's some pictures here. Here's June Lockhart and the family here. And um, Lassie is an American television series that follows the adventures of a female collie and her companions. Of course, the family here. And um, the movie version was produced by Robert Maxwell and the animal trainer was Rudd, pronounced Rudd Weatherwax. What a name. And so Lassie, aired from 1954 to 1973 it was the fourth longest running US primetime television series after the Simpsons Gunsmoke and of course Law and Order <laughs> so 17 seasons on CBS with Lassie that's quite a feat but mo the majority of the series was based on the farm you know Lassie and the farm and eventually as time went by it became one of those conservative kind of cultural things where she was out in the nature there. Nice. And let's see, what else can I say real quick? Lassie received critical favor in its debut. It won two Emmy Awards in the first year and the stars were Jan Clayton and of course June Lockhart and they were nominated for Emmys as well. So that's kind of a short flyover of the Lassie show and of course you can, your audience can look up any videos or you know, this clip here of Lassie. So I'll quit on that note right there. Thanks, Asaph. Sure. And that was Musical Notes with Asaph Adonai. Um, up next, we have uh, some... Um, ugh, I'm not thinking today, but we have some... Um, the art clip from our very own Rick Phillips featured at the Mizor Museum, which you guys can go check out anytime. <laughs>
Hey, we're back. Uh, of course, uh, that was uh, featured. That's being featured at the Mizzou Art Museum uh, last uh, first Friday. Um, I, you know, went around to a couple of the art installations. Probably one of my favorite one was at the E3 Convergence Gallery. They had some really cool. It was reflections, and it was basically about taking pictures of like landscape and scenery through a placid lake, so you can kind of see the reflection from the bottom. It was really cool. There was also this uh, uh, blue jay that was um, drinking water, and it was basically kind of looked like it was like kissing itself in a way. Okay. <laughs> the best way to describe it. Um, but yeah, the um, Missoula Art Museum was actually closed that particular day. I think they were starting to install more art, so it's going to be a lot of new art happening at the Missoula Art Museum, so I suggest you guys check it out. That was just a little taste. There's probably a lot more going on at the Missoula Art Museum, and I believe that they will be open tomorrow for uh, July 5th. But of course, most of everything is going to be closed for your July 4th, so let's let's talk about what's going to be what's going to be going on once uh, July 4th is all over. Um, if you're interested, um, there's uh, Kundalini Yoga starting at uh, 7.30 tomorrow morning at the Barn Movement Studio. It's a good way just to incorporate breathing, meditation, um, and a mantra in every practice. Um, that happens, let's see, yep, that happens 7.30 to 8.30, and that'll be from um, June um, 7th through July 26th, and it's a, uh... oh, never mind, uh, I'm, I'm on my next event. So the next event's at Acro Sports Center, they're doing um, gymnastics themed camp, and it's happening from 7.30 to 8.30 a.m. and it's um, from Ju June 7th to July 26th, so it's uh, every, I believe it's every Tuesday, um, and it's happening at Roots Acro Sports Center, and it's for ages kindergarten to 12 years of age. They have half days, um, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., um, or 9 a.m. to uh, 3.30 p.m. for a full day, and of course they have a special aftercare available from 8 to 5. Um, da -da -da. Magic of Chemistry Summer Camps, uh, grades uh, first through third grade, and it's happening from July 5th to the um, 8th, and it's going to be from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's going to be a Tuesday through Friday, and it's going to be at the Skaggs Building at the University of Montana. Don't miss out on this exciting, full potential, explosions, and magic. Explore the fascinating world of chemistry as you extract DNA, isotope, copper with electrolytes, oh, electrosis create explosions, elephant, toothpaste, and more. Um, the Pied Piper Day camp is happening at uh, 9 a.m. tomorrow morning at the MCT Center for Performing Arts. Um, the Pied Piper Day camp will be at the Missoula Children's Theater, so you can check it out. Uh, and then there, uh, I believe that they'll have, op they have uh, uh, camps for your Saturday group and a Sunday group, so that's usually kind of like uh, if they have they have Saturday performances from a certain group of kids, and they have a Sunday performance through another group of kids, and they do two different performances with uh, the groups of kids. It's kind of like performing for each other, so it's, it's a great experience for kids to be uh, get on stage and just kind of perform and get used to that kind of uh, thing. Uh, Taste Butch Kitchen is also doing a thing, so uh, it's like a Crazy About Chocolate, and it's uh, recipes from A to Z, and this Tasty Camp will put your culinary creativity to the test, and it's happening 9 a.m. at the uh, Taste Butch Kitchen. Uh, 10 a.m. There's a uh, French Town uh, Pond State Park West Picnic Shelter. Um, the Montana State Park wants you to earn a Junior Ranger Badge. This free event is open to the public and is geared to 4 to 12 years of age. And uh, Preschool Play Group is happening at 11 a.m. at Roots Acro Sports Center. It's from walking to 5 years of age. Uh, it's about an hour long. $8 for drop-in, $12 for siblings. Um, Historical Museum at Fort Missoula, they're doing a bunch of kids activities. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday from 11 to 12 and 3 to 4 all summer long. So if you're interested in taking your kids to an activity at the Historic Fort Missoula, um, you can do it, they're going to do it every week, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 11 to 12 and 3 to 4. Um, Kids table at the library is at 11.30, so they provide um, lunches for kids who are 18 and under, and it's great, and it's going to be uh, pretty much uh, every uh, every day that the library is open, and at 11.30 a.m., and it's I put it, and it's put on by the Missoula Food Bank. It's a great resource for uh, feeding um, kids. Um, and then, of course, the uh, Shooting Bull is uh, doing a uh, Toastmasters. Um, so if you're interested in improving your speaking skills, which I obviously need because I'm just like really struggling through these events, um, they do this every Tuesday from 12 to 1 p.m. And of course, Mutastic Tuesday is at Montgomery Distillery, and every dollar from each cocktail sold will go to a nonprofit. So another nonprofit day. Um, 2 p.m. Missoula Public Library. Um, there's the Children's Summer Activity Program, Homegrown 
fun. And this is um, at the large main room, and it's going to be happening at 2 p.m. tomorrow. And you know, it's uh, activities include bubble, sidewalk chalk, hula hoops, and jump rope. Um, 2 p.m. Yoga Warriors is happening at the uh, learning tree at the Red Willer. Um, 4 p.m. Um, there's the uh, Frenchtown Branch Lego Club happening at 4 p.m. Um, Missoula Public Library Falf in the Parks. Um, that's happening at 5.30 uh, uh, p.m. at, um, I believe it's, uh, yeah, they're doing some Falf in the Park, so they might be going to uh, Kiwanis Park to play some Falf. Um, Fort Missoula, there's, uh, yep, never mind, forget that. <laughs> Uh, the Missoula Farmers Market, uh, Tuesday Night Market is happening, so um, they just kind of started it last week, but they're going to keep on doing it, so uh, if you're interested in, in doing a Farmers Market on Tuesday night, in which you have it difficult to wake up early on Saturday, at, you know, before 1 p.m., um, you can do this at the Missoula Farmers Market, happening at the Red X's, 5.30 p.m., and then of course there's yoga in the parks at 6 p.m., um, Missoula uh, so doing Missoula Park and Recreation as they do some um, yoga outside in the park um, at Bonner Park. Da -da -da. Okay, so the Good Food Store is doing um, chicken kebabs with charred corn salad. So for te uh, for ten dollars this evening, um, Good Food Store's cooking class um, Emily Walter demonstrates one of her favorite summer meals. She'll teach you um, why um, chicken thighs are her go-to favorite for kebabs. And she'll also share tips for growing vegetables, even fresh corn, uh, as with um, their four, uh, as with their mini classes, you'll receive many of the recipes, ingredients, so you can hit the grill and whip up a simple but delicious recipe at home. And I believe that's pretty much it for your uh, just like afternoon and evening events. Um, let's go to your night events. Uh, there's the picking circle, picking circle at uh, the top at that starts at six. It goes until like eight or nine. Um, Da, da, da. The community writing workshop at the Missoula Public Library. So if you're in if you're in junior high, in high school, looking to improve your writing skills, they do that at the Missoula Public Library at 6 p.m. Um, there's system check at the Missoula Public Library. So if you don't want to work on writing, you can play video games and stuff. Um, that's happening at 6:30 p.m. at the Missoula Public Library. African dance at 7 p.m. at the Senior Center. Uh, there's Kenneth Turan at Fact and Fiction. He's doing a book signing, so if you know who Kenneth Turan is, you can get a book signed by him. Um, adult TNT is at Root Acro Sports Center, so if you're not uh, walking to five years of age, but you still want to do some adult TNT, this is uh, for 16 and up, and that's going to be at uh, the Roots Acro Sports Center. There's Missoula Music Showcase at the Badlander, happening um, tomorrow night at 9 p.m. And then, of course, uh, oh, I guess they uh, miss... Uh, and that's pretty much it for your uh, uh, Missoula events. Um, so if you want more information, you can go to MissoulaEvents.net and more. But of course, uh, if you want to go out and do things, you can watch uh, what's new on MCAT starting um, tonight, tomorrow night at 5.30. So here's a little taste of what you guys can expect uh, with a little bit of Southwest Asia Conference and some forestry days at the Fort Missoula again. Uh, there were definitely a, Bris a British presence there. And there were actually British agents there who were tortured and killed. Um, I don't remember exactly. I think it's in the I think it's in the 40s or the 50s, 1800s. Um, I don't really know enough to answer your actual question about the British incursions into Bukhara and Kiva. Um, I know in the period that I'm talking about, I mean, they're, they definitely recognize it as Russian influence. And that's what you guys can see um, um, happening uh, tomorrow night uh, at 7 p.m. So that's kind of what you have for your programming. I have a little, uh, and now it's time for Tales from the Weekend. Are you, are you ready, Asaf? Let's do this. <laughs> okay. All right. 
<laughs> All right, I wrote this. Uh, uh, well, I think I wrote this. I wrote this on Friday. Um, I'm gonna read through this. Um, it, it's a nice little uh, segment I just started. It's called Tales from the Weekend. Uh, and so far, what I've basically done is just like write nice little stories about inanimate objects with personality. And this is uh, this. Okay, so let's start. The story begins at an aging auto body shop. The building has seen better days, and the sunrise uh, has sun bleached the north side of the building, while most, while moss and other plant life has grown on the south side. In her garage, we see a small tire by the name of Rory the Tire. Rory is the kind of tire that use use was mm, that was used as a spare tire and not as a replacement unfortunately he was left in the shop by his owner years ago and the auto shop paid no mind to getting rid of him uh, for years rory would watch as less and less people would stop by and get the basic of tune-ups and oil changes the town in which the auto shop was located was nearly empty with barely any people let alone cars one day rory was taken out back in the scrapyard where he met kindred spirits whom he have been abandoned or just forgot about. Rory dreamed about traveling around the country from the spinning of his wheels and not from under the car. Since Rory is the, la is the latest of the pile, he got to be on top. So he got to see the whole town from the lone diner to the gas station that has seen better days. For Rory, not seeing much of anything is common, but this view is something that sustained Rory for a while. Much like anything new, it became old, and Rory was finding himself back to the feeling he had under the car and inside the auto shop. The only thing new he'd seen in the is the tumbleweeds bouncing around the town, crossing the road and traveling long distances. Um, being a tire, Rory found it difficult to move, even on the windiest of, of days. It wasn't until a recycling truck came by and a man stepped out to collect all the metal in the scrapyard to be reused. As the scrapyard became less and less metal and more plastics, glass, and old tires, the man grabbed Rory and started to take him towards the truck. Was it that this man was going to take Rory to a new wonderful place? Unfortunately, the man took a flathead screwdriver and removed the metal rim that was inside Rory. The man threw Rory towards the pile of junk. It was here that Rory found that he was rolling towards the pile on purpose that he was made for. And besides crashing and falling over, he kept rolling and rolling along. Not, no time, let's see. Not much time passed, and then all we saw was Rory rolling, rolling into the sunset, just like a tumbleweed. Yeah, that was kind of a weak ending. I just kind of like stopped and then just said like, okay, so he just rolled off. So the, so the idea of this story, I have to explain it now. All right. <laughs> so, you know, he, you know, like they took out the middle rim and they threw him out into the world, but instead of like falling over, he just kept rolling and rolling and rolling. And then he just traveled across the land, seeing all sorts of wonderful things. And he never stopped rolling. And the last you'd ever see of him is rolling into the sunset. I think that, that that's a little stronger. That's a little stronger. I like that a little better. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed the song I was playing, the tumbleweeds, that's tumble, Aww. tumbleweeds. Thanks, Asaph. <laughs> <laughs> But of course, uh, that was pretty much it for your uh, Wake Up Missoula show. Um, uh, if you're interested in um, learning more about us, you can log on to our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. We have um, sorts of wonderful things and all sorts of little fun little um, games and um, segments we like to talk about. You can also like us on our Facebook page. You can follow us on Twitter, at Wake Up Missoula. You can also like MCAT, at Wake Up at MCAT TV Missoula on our Twitter page. And of course, you can like Missoula Community Actions Television on Facebook. And of course, for more information, go to MCAT.org um, to find out more information. Um, if you're interested in being on our show and um, talking about your upcoming events or uh, causes or rallies or stuff like that, you can call us at 542-6228, otherwise known as 542-MCAT. But of course, if you are uh, if you're too shy to call, you can email us mcat at mcat.org and just talk to us about this or that or what's going on with uh, um, here in Missoula. Okay, uh, so um, do you have any big plans for your 4th of July? No, I'm just going to probably just stay home 
uh, spend time with the neighbors and stuff. And nice. It's too bad they're not doing the fireworks show because we usually sit out in front of the house every year and can see it in the sky. Yeah. Uh, not this year. But of course, I mean, you know, if you guys are interested in doing any kind of fireworks stuff, uh, Florence will be hosting a big fireworks show. Um, it's not too far from here. It's like a five miles or so. Mm-hmm. So that's something you can check out. Um, but other than that, there's. Um, there is an ordinance in town, of course. Uh, any kind of um, prevention of uh, fireworks are prohibited in the area. Uh, <laughs> there's, yeah, definitely the ordinance um, that um, it is prohibited to fire fireworks within the city limits. Uh, a lot of it has to do with a lot of the um, the humane society being like, okay, the dogs get really scared and they run away and they get really frightened and they either run into traffic or they they a lot of there's going to be a lot of missing animals. So if you have any pets or any animals, make sure you uh, keep them indoors, keep them um, in a pen, uh, in a little kennel or something like that, just so they don't get scared. Maybe put them in the basement or something. Just 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 for tonight you know just you know because it's going to be fireworks popping all all night long and maybe even keep them in pretty much all week because people are going to have fireworks and they've been popping off the last couple of nights anyways so just be aware of that um that you'll get a ticket if you fire funny fireworks in the city limits but of course you know the county is not too far away just go into the county and show off some fireworks there it's great um so enjoy your fourth of july weekend and i will throw it over to asaf adonai so uh for wake up missoula i'm scott ramp and I am Asaph, I don't know. This would be the perfect song to end this. <laughs> <laughs>